Hey guys, and welcome back to another episode of Cyberpunk 2077. Alright, so let's go and do this Pan Air mission. After we go ahead and take all that. All ready to go? Hey, V. No, not yet. Corpos haven't shown up in person to report the loss? We left the trucks with the big Corpo logos down by the raffin camp. Which was almost as much fun as leaving a bag of flaming dog shit on their doorstep. Fuck, made it look like it just came back from a Corpo war tour. Nice touch. And Saul. What about him? Nothing. For now. We're staying out of each other's hair. So he's not planning a family council? Of course he is. He just wants to keep me in the dark a while longer. I always wanted to take one of these suckers for a spin. Which is exactly how all those naive gonks landed at the front. Didn't even need to be recruited. They just showed you the tech. Go on, hop in. Everything is set. Oh. How good. Get to drive it? All right. Oh. Let's fire her up. Hold on to your head. Anybody get this thing up and running earlier? Maybe you Everything ought to... Everything is dandy. Give me a moment. Let's give it the love tap. There it is. Oh, yes! It's actually pretty cool. It's not the latest model, but Mitch and Bob did what they could. What do you think? At least now I know why people call them coffins. You steer directly from your seat. All you have to do is jack in. What, no knobs, buttons, blinky doodads? No, none. The impulse runs directly to your cerebral cortex. In a sense, the basilisk becomes an extension of your body. It's like a mystical oneness. Ever piloted anything like this? No, why? Don't you trust me? Can I still get out? No. <laughs> then I trust you. If it's so mystical and shit, why the co-pilot? Extra support? I'll tell you once we're a bit further from camp. We'll practice. There's no co-pilot. Co it's a gun and seat, my friend. Okay. If you want full functionality in an engagement, you need a second person to handle sensory overload. One pilot steers, the other handles the gun. It's oddly pleasant. You'll see. But which one am I? Am I the driver or the gunner? From the fact that I'm not actually controlling it now, I'm assuming I'm the gunner. Okay. This will do fine. A dry run first. I'll disconnect for now. Doesn't need two pilots? You won't be steering and firing. Are you ready? Is this, uh, as designed? Neural synchronization doesn't happen at the snap of one's fingers. It'll be over soon. There. See? Oh, that's actually pretty cool. Okay. I don't understand what you meant. Warm up. Don't worry. I'm not gonna watch. Just put it through a few turns. Right. All right. I can see you've grown bored. Now take her along the line of turbines. When I say so, swerve right or left before the last of them. All right. Left. Very good. Keep her going. Right. Yes. That's 
the way to do um, it. I'm literally just turning. Right. Oh, that one got me. Oh, you pulled a snake on me. Basilisk is a cargo ship by design, but it should still be a good time. All right, blast those wrecks. Good. Better than dirt now. Bullseye. Okay, practice is over. B, do you remember what I said about impulses? Mm -hmm. Well, watch out now. What's happening? Hijacked him. Our nervous systems are now linked. Right. Basilisk pilots working in harmony. That's why I'm feeling everything doubled. It's sensory feedback. Our systems are intertwined. Would you like to try it out? Oh. Okay. Getting a little bit of a little bit of sugar here. Go for that. Honestly, yeah. Uh, no idea how people can focus in combat. It's probably not always this intense. Oh, fuck. They found us. We have to get back to camp. They're rapping! Whole group of them, ready for a fight! They're here too, Saul, in full force. You take them out. Then haul ass here and make yourselves useful. We'll go straight to camp. We have to help the family. Oh, I've got some. F oh, my God. Can I loot them all? Look at all that good loot. I think I need to put some clothes on. Is everyone going to see me in my underwear? Yeah. How come she got her hands back on? I'm sitting here looking like an idiot. I'm gonna quickly loot everyone. Oh, I should probably go listen to the conversation, shouldn't I? Come on, Salt. If I have to leave the clan, please just say so. Spare me another speech of yours at the very least. I'm afraid you'll have to sit through a few more. Because from this day forward, you will lead this family by my side. I will what? I wish to do this properly, but fine. Have it your way. I was wrong. You were right. That's the truth. May it never happen again. But I, I, I made a mess of so many things. You said... I know. But I changed my mind. You risked everything for this family, not even knowing whether you'd be welcome the next day. Okay. Okay. Well, I... Many things will have to change. Yes, and to start with, we need to leave this place. Quickly. We can't wait for Militech to find us. Of course. I will prepare our route. Congratulations. Terrible choice. I voted nay. Thank you. Thanks. I need to cool down, I think. Will you come with me? Yeah. But, before you start talking to me, I'm gonna go pick up all this glorious loot. So much. Absolutely carved up here. Oh. 
should also put my clothes back on, shouldn't I? Quite a few guns here. Why can't I pick this one up? That's frustrating. Interesting day. I feel as if I barely evaded a rapidly approaching train. It's pretty close. I don't know if I could have done it without you. Hey, come on. You no, I'm serious. We all owe you. So you can count on the Alta Caldas. No squirming. Always. Huh. Good to know. Nobody's behind the bar. That I like. Serve yourself. I like it. Beer? Lemonade? Beer me. To happy endings. Speaking of... Happy endings. Back there in the Basilisk, I, I hope you don't regret what happened. I regret one thing only. That we had so little time. Guess we'll have to do something about that. Mm-hmm. You know... You know, this... This could be us. Every day. V. Look around. Look at them. They could be your family. Pan Am, what are you? Stay in camp. Join us. I'd love to, Pan Am. I really would. Mm-hmm. Here comes that damned butt. But I can't. Not right now. Have to finish some things first. All right, V. I shouldn't drop bombs like that on you right now. I just thought, eh, forget about it. I'll think it all over. I pro. Oh, good lord. He's feeling it. Me? Pan Am. I... V, relax. Everything is okay. How do you feel? Where... Where are we? You passed out. Completely. We took you with us. Uh, where? We moved camp. You are safe. Everything is under control. You ain't dying yet. Oh, of course you're here. V, you have to tell me what is happening. The blood. You were out for hours. What's wrong? Pan Am, I... It's getting worse. Every single day. Okay, B, relax. Take it bit by bit. What is happening, exactly? To tell you the whole truth, 
I'm afraid things won't be the same between us if I do. Veen, listen to me. There is not a thing you could say to me that would change how... I mean, just cut the bullshit and tell me what's going on. You know, Johnny Silverhand. Yes, they sometimes play those oldies on the radio. Why? That's just it. Johnny's alive. He's sitting in my head. He's what? Am, am I not? Is this some sort of strange metaphor? Long story. Got a job, fucked it up. Now, Silverhand's personality construct's sitting in my head. Bullshit! Yeah, well, he's not too happy about it either. Turns out we don't really mix. And it's getting worse. You are not joking. Just trying to live with it. Survive, actually. It's certainly not doing wonders for your health. I gotta go. I'm feeling better, really. Wait, I will go with you. Hey, Mitch. Finally, we were worried. Is everything okay? Much better now. Thanks for your help. I'm glad to hear it. So you made yourselves at home already. We do have some experience in this. This is a good place. We have greater control over the area. The rest will settle in quickly. But tell us, how are you? You scared us. Thanks. I'll stick around for a bit. Remember, our offer still stands. If you need help, the Aldecaldos are here for you. And that, at least, we can agree on. If you need anything, you know where to find us. That went well. Want me to walk with you? Yeah, why not? This place actually looks better than before. I know this area. Before. Back from the old roots. You're really safe here, though. For now, yes. Militech does not venture this far. And our vantage points hey, really are much better. Welcome back to the land of the living. About time Sleeping Beauty decided to join us. Hey there. I wish that I could just... Run off and be a nomad. But you know, everything here, it is temporary. All of it. We will soon have to decide what comes next. Oh, please tell me I get to keep that. I v, want it. Back to what we were saying. I will not even pretend to understand. I don't think it has even sunk in yet. But I am serious. How can I help? Honestly, not a clue. But there has to be something. Someone who can... Remember Hellman? He's the one who created the personality construct tech. That's why you wanted to get him. But it was a dead end. Now I have to figure out where to go next. You'll find a way. And once you do, let me know. I will help. This whole family will help. Saul was not joking. You understand? Thanks for everything. For being here for me. Take care of yourself. And let me know. Well, just please keep in touch. Consider it done. Alright guys. Oh shit, not good. I'm gonna end that one there, but I hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you did, make sure you smash that like button and subscribe if you haven't already. Also, jump over to my Facebook page so you can be kept up to date on all the upcoming videos we'll be pumping out in the future. As always, I hope you like this video, and I'll catch you in the next one. Enjoy!